Hey everyone, welcome to Path of Ash. Um, today's video is another vlog type video and it's going to be of me finally setting my hair free, releasing the beast and washing straight or washing blow drying and straightening my hair so i do have this routine where i wash my hair every two weeks so for two weeks i have my hair curly you know in my four c style you know let us do his natural thing and then for another two weeks i have my hair straight so i straighten my hair once a month um i haven't had any heat damage so i'm doing good I hopefully this stays this way and I just like to do that you know to free my curls give you know the fairy knots and tangles a break and um you know also for me to keep track of my ends because um before I went to the salon back in May May uh my hair was a mess I had to cut off two inches of hair it didn't really look like a big difference but it did make me feel like I wasn't really taking care of my natural hair because you know I didn't really trim my ends often and even back when I used to get relaxers I never really trimmed my ends because it was like cutting my hair no why do I want to do that but it is good for length so I'm trying to stay on track of that so that's what y'all gonna watch me do and I'm gonna be using the product line uh e-take uh Carmelux treatment and it comes with shampoo, sham, shampoo, conditioner, and uh, it's like a leave-in deep conditioner treatment. I'm going to show y'all the whole product line. But before we get into all that, I do have to say my message because this is what I do. So, my message for today is for you to not let people bring you down. Do not let people bring you down. Don't like the things that people say bring you down i know that we all have emotions and we all you know have feelings and things hurt us deeply to the point that it makes us want to quit or it makes us you know really take things out on ourselves like how people do us and how people treat us but that is not the life that jesus wants you to live at the end of the day you have to believe what jesus say about you you have to open your bible and you have to read all of the nice and wonderful and kind things that Jesus say that you are, that Jesus says that you can do, and Jesus said that you can find in him. Yes, that's what you need to be doing. Don't be focusing on what these people saying and how these people treat you. And don't be trying to jump through hoops, proving yourself to people who is not even, they're not even going to be in your life for the long run. Like, when you a child of God, you, you kind of know your situations and you know, like, okay, um, you get these feelings, you know, the Holy Spirit will urge you, the Holy Spirit will guide you to let you know, like, okay, these friends, they're not going to be here in like five years, like, but I'm, you know, we, we ignore that feeling, but, like, but I'm going to have my fun, I'm going to see, I'm going to give them a chance, I'm going to do that, and, you know, we human, human, I don't know why I can't talk today, we're human, <laughs> and things like that, you know, we let slide, you know, it's good to have a spirit of forgiveness, and we're not, we're not eliminating that. God wants us to have a spirit of forgiveness and we should exercise the spirit of forgiveness. But I'm talking about the people who are like toxic, the people who are like abusive, the people who don't want to see you shine, the people who don't want to see you win, the people who's always talking bad about you, the people that's always having their little smart remarks or they backhanded compliments. Backhanded compliments. I don't even like the word compliment being with the word backhanded. It's like not a double negative, but it just don't match. So... I'm talking about those type of situations. You know, we're supposed to forgive them, we're supposed to love them, and we're supposed to pray for them. But at the same time, we can't let them get to us. See, now, here's the thing, though. Because the Bible says we are not at war with flesh and blood, but principalities, meaning that it's not the people that we see, you know, in the physical form that's saying these things and doing these things to us. Um, it is a negative spirit that they're entertaining, meaning that, I like to say at the end of the day, we only have one enemy. We only have one enemy, and we all know that's the devil, okay? So the devil are using, you know, people to bring us down because, you know, we're lovers of Jesus or, you know, we're, we on, we're lovers of Jesus and we're, you know, we're trying to do the right thing. We're on the path of doing the right thing, you know, just because, you know, Things, you don't have to be perfect, but you know that you're trying. You're trying to do the right thing, and God sees that. Um, but the devil likes to use people around us, people that's close to us, people who really mean things to us, to hurt us. The devil knows how much these people mean to us, that he uses them to purposely 
hurt us and now these people may or may not be aware that they are entertaining a negative spirit but the you know the point of it all is that the enemy uses them to bring us down and uh in hopes that we won't continue to serve god and hopes that we would just give up on ourselves and hopes that you know to destroy our lives but we have to see through that we have to not let what people say bring us down not let what people do bring us down not let how people treat us bring us down not let people's uh toxic ways consume us or make us toxic we have to be mindful of that that the enemy is always lurking and looking for something to destroy okay kill steal and destroy he wants to kill your life he wants to steal something from your life he wants to destroy things completely that you stop serving god and that you stop being the best person that you know that you are and that you know that you can be that is the goal of the enemy but at the end of the day we are not to focus on the enemy and we're not to focus on negativity but we have to focus on god because god is bigger than our situation god is bigger than all that stuff that everybody's trying to throw at you or that you know the enemy is forcing and urging people to do to get on your nerves or to just bring you down or just to just bring out the worst in you okay you have to overlook that and just continue to just fight and fight it's a constant fight it's a fight it's a fight but it ain't it ain't our battle you know it's not ours but we have to fight to surrender it to god we have to fight to ignore these attacks we have to fight to stand up against the attacks not meaning you know put things in your own hand but speak the word of god over these people pray for these people and they will be released from that negative spirit because god is very powerful and very mighty and what you pray to him he will do okay so with that being said we're gonna get into the video but i just want to let y'all know that you know god loves you that he's constantly fighting for you and that we don't need to be worried about people we do not need to let people's uh perceptions of us or what they say about us or what they do to us bring us down because we are children of god and he has a divine plan for us and that anything these people saying they're doing is not going to stop that but we don't have to hurt ourselves in the process either um trying to figure out why they say these things about us or why they do us like that you know we don't have to they already hurting us so why we gotta hurt ourselves y'all feel me like y'all hear me so with that being said you know just not let people get in your head not let people bring you down not let the enemy you know destroy anything at the end of the day he can't but you know don't assist him in doing so by you know putting yourself down so we're gonna get into the video but I do, you know, love y'all because like I said, I'm your sister in Christ and your sister in the eternal life. And I want what's best for y'all. So, but we're going to get into the video of me watching my hair. My hair. My hair. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is my hair after taking it down. It's a mess. Dry. Tangled. Brittled. Just crusty but this is the full product line so this is the carbon lux shampoo this is the conditioner this is the treatment the actual treatment that you put in your hair and this is the butter shine cream which i put on during the flat iron process um paired with a heat protectant it really does give it a shine um, this doesn't really come in like the kit. I brought these all separately. This is kind of like a bonus thing. If y'all gonna use this, get this, y'all. Get this. So, the first step, I've seen people do this like different because I go based on um, tutorials. But I've seen people do this different. But this one, this way worked when I did it the first time. Um, So, you use the conditioner first to detangle your hair and then you put on the treatment um and then you let this sit for i let mine sit for an hour and then you follow it with the shampoo shampoo twice i believe and then you condition again and uh you wash it all out and you get to the next step with blow drying but i'm talking too much i'm just gonna let y'all watch um not really good with tutorials that's why i don't call this a tutorial but like just just watch just watch and if i said anything wrong i'm probably gonna correct myself in the voiceover but just watch 
So here I am sectioning my hair off and I'm using a spray bottle of water to dampen my hair, uh, pairing that with the conditioner. I think this step is really necessary because my hair was really, really dry, uh, but it really did glide through easy. So I detangled my hair with the conditioner and these are the results. So my hair is a lot softer, um, a lot more manageable. Um, now we're moving on to the next step which is putting on the caramel deep reconstructing reconstructioning reconstructioning oh wait no reconstructing you messing me up deep reconstructing treatment i can't read y'all and um so it's made with bananas and caramel i actually had like a little bit of this get in my mouth i tasted it all yeah i'll be i'll be eating stuff i tasted this and it was good I wouldn't advise y'all to taste this, but it was good. And so you have to apply this to damp hair. My hair is damp. I use this water bottle to dampen it um, when I put the conditioner in it. And so I'm gonna apply this. And you're supposed to sit with it on for at least 20 minutes, but it says for a deeper conditioning, do for an hour. I let this sit in my hair for an hour um, because I know stuff don't really work on my hair. Like, I always have failed attempts with all products, and I don't really trust it just with the 20 minutes. So, I let it sit for an hour. So, let's get to it. So, for this step, I'm taking small sections of my hair, and I am applying the caramel deep conditioning treatment on each strand. I'm making sure I'm putting it evenly. I did have to uh, dampen my hair again because my hair dried really fast, but I'm just working through each section trying to evenly put this deep conditioner through my hair. This stuff really works wonders, y'all, and it smells good, too. So, I got the caramel treatment all through my hair. It's kind of heavy. Um, like I said, I'm going to leave it in for an hour. I want to dampen it a little bit more because it is really sticky. Um, Because it's, like, sugar. It's, like, crystallized, y'all. Like, like, it's liquefied, but it's, like, like kind of pasty a little bit. Um... Like I know like how they show in the videos, it's kind of like, it seems like watery. I don't know if it's like the temperature I stored on it. This not as, you know, hot or anything. Well, maybe because it's cold, it's like solid. But I'm going to damp my hair a little bit more because it does say you to put it on damp hair. Wow. And um, then I'm going to put my hair in the ponytail. And I don't have a shower kit, but I'm going to put a bag on my head, y'all. Gotta do what you gotta do. So I got this struggle ponytail, y'all. Ooh, hurt my neck trying to put that on. So, put this grocery bag on my head. I'm putting my bonnet on. And I'm going to let this sit for an hour. All right, so I washed it out, and now I'm going to put in the shampoo. Um, you're supposed to shampoo twice, so I'm going to put it in, uh, like, on the damp hair, and then when I get to the sink, I'm going to wash it again. So, like, the same thing I did with the deep conditioner treatment, I'm just putting the shampoo through my hair. So, after washing, uh, shampooing twice, and conditioning, this is what my hair looks like. It looks a little shrunk more and rough because I did wipe my hair uh, with the towel um it looks like a tangled mess but uh, uh hopefully not for long I did pull some pieces of hair like shedded hair um, I haven't detangled my hair in about like a week and a half so that was expected but I look great to the z but um, I'm gonna get to the process of blow drying my hair or detangling it first again and um uh, using my heat protectant and you know distributing that through my hair and get into the blow drying process so process process so um i am using a revlon blow dryer brush and i'm using a different blow dryer as well because i do notice that with the revlon blow dryer brush it doesn't really get to the root like I need it to. So let's get to that. 
So for the blow drying process, I prepped my hair with a heat protectant. Um, I used the Silk Elements heat protectant. Uh, it works really good and it smells really good. It's very soft and light. So I used my Y2 comb to get through all the tangles. And then I used the paddle brush, the Revlon blow dry brush and blow dry section by section. I try to get to the root as much as possible, but then I also pair it off with a regular blow dryer to get the root. I didn't record that part, but I did uh, do that as well. I feel like that's a bonus to really get your roots before you go through the flat iron process. So I did majority of the blow drying off camera. So that's what it looks like. Um, I use my other blow dryer so I can really get to the root. Now I'm going to get to the flat iron process. For this step, I put my hair up so I can get the smallest sections as possible. I pair this with the Buttershine Cream because it does give it that sleek look. And I do follow uh, the rules of using only two passes per piece of hair so we don't get any heat damage, y'all. I didn't use the chase method. I usually do, but I didn't. Um, I really couldn't hold the flat iron and do the chase method at the same time i do find that kind of difficult when i'm getting the back pieces of my hair so i didn't use the chase method but it still came out pretty shiny looking and i really did love the results y'all so if y'all do want to get your hair kind of straight without getting the relaxer this is the go-to all right so here are the final results it's a lot of movement to it on my ends i do have to trim them a bit but this is the final look and I don't like a really silky silk press. I do like to have some texture and I feel like that's what eliminates me from getting heat damage. But here is the final look, y'all. And as I wrap it and take it down the next day, it will look a little bit more silkier. It is a little like textured, more textured than usual um, because I don't think I really did the blow dry you know really good but it's fine to me i like the the texture and the volume of it yeah i like the texture and the volume of it so i hope you all enjoyed this video i will see y'all next time